Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Pastor Mark, children's pastor at Destiny, and today we are super excited. It's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter, everybody. Uh, today we're gonna be doing something different. We're gonna be doing something that we're really excited about and we hope you guys enjoy. But before we get into that, let's start with some worship. That was some great worship. Thanks for joining us, guys. And now we're gonna get into our lesson. And to do that, we have two friends who are gonna help us out. Check this out.
brought some candy. The Easter Bunny brought me, man. Yeah. That's amazing, Grind. How are you? How are you, kids? I'm doing fantastic. I mean, I think we got jelly beans and chocolate. Easter Bunny's really cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, he is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that he invented Easter. I mean, that's so cool. It's like he invented a day he can bring his candy. <laughs> oh, okay, well, Grind, the Easter Bunny didn't invent Easter. Well, well, wait, wait, no. But it's Easter and Easter Bunny, right? <laughs> you have that right, and, and I can see why you would be confused, but that's not really... He didn't invent Easter. It actually is because of Jesus. Oh, uh, wait, I don't, I don't, I don't follow. What do you mean? Okay. All right, hang with me for one <laughs> second, Grind. All right, <laughs> hang with me. So here's the deal. Have you ever taken the punishment for somebody, something somebody else did? Oh, um, that's not cool, man. No way. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Jesus, he took the punishment for our sin. And you know that we're all sinners, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've all sinned, Grind. Some of us sin by breaking the rules. Some of us sin by keeping the rules and thinking we're better than other people, but all of us have sinned. And the reason why sin is a problem, Grind, is because it separates us from God. So, Father God... Wait. Okay. Are you following me? So, Father God wanted to make a way to be close to us. So he sent us Jesus to pay the penalty for our sin. There's a scripture, it says that God shows us his anger from heaven against all sinful and wicked people. It makes God angry when we sin, but he took all that anger out on Jesus. Jesus became sin for us. He was beaten with a whip. A crown oh. of thorns was put on his head and he was nailed to a cross where his blood poured out. No way! Yeah. That's pretty cruel, isn't it? That's, yeah. Yeah. But the Bible says that without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. In other words, the penalty for sin is death. So Jesus, yeah, Jesus came and he shed his blood and he died on the cross so that you could live. Whoa. Yeah. Wait a second. Whoa. So Easter, wait a second. My mind is like blown here. Yeah. Uh, whoa. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty tragic what happened to Jesus on the cross on Friday, but... Easter Sunday is actually about when Jesus was resurrected. Whoa, like, 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 resurrected, like, came back from the dead? That's right. He came back Ooh. from the dead. Now, actually, I have an idea. I want to show you a video that will okay. help explain this for you. Okay. Can you watch a video with me? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's watch this video real quick. Awesome. This last Friday was the hardest day I ever lived. All of the disciples, myself included, were in the Garden of Gethsemane with Jesus. We were all wondering why we were in the garden in the middle of the night. I mean, I'm usually in bed before 10. Jesus was sweating and praying like he had no time left. He asked us to pray with him, and we did for like 15 minutes. Then everyone was asleep and James was snoring like a hippo. What? It was way past my bedtime. Jesus woke us up a couple of times, but I hardly remember what he said. Then all of a sudden everything started. All of the guards and religious leaders led by Judas came up to us. All I remember was waking up confused, everyone yelling, Peter was flailing around with a sword, and ears were being cut off. 
I only cut one ear off. Besides, Jesus put it back on the guy's head. Where did Peter get a sword anyway? I mean, who in their right mind gave it to him? He said what? Jesus calmed everyone down, but then they arrested him. And we ran for our lives. I suppose I knew that Jesus would be taken, but it still scared me so much. After I gathered my wits, the guys and I went to where Jesus was being accused. It was ridiculous. Men started spewing lies. Men paid by the Pharisees came forward to testify against Jesus. It was all a big lie. John was pretty scared. Yeah, I heard John was terrified. Are you kidding me? James wet his tunic and ran away, and Peter pretended like he didn't even know us. Regardless, Jesus was finishing being tried by the Sanhedrin when the rooster crowed. Huh, rooster crowing. Doesn't sound familiar. Christ had told Peter that Peter would deny him. Okay, okay, like I said, it wasn't really the best day for any of us. The priest handed over Jesus to the Romans, saying that they wanted him to be killed. Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, didn't know what to do. They stripped my son and beat him till he bled. They put a cross on his back and led him and two thieves up a hill called Golgotha. They nailed him to the cross and crucified him. He was crying to heaven, Father, why have you forsaken me? As Jesus passed away, the sky grew dark, the earth shook, and the temple veil tore into two. I heard a Roman soldier say, surely this was the Son of God. Mary Magdalene and I went to the tomb where he was buried on the day after the Sabbath. We were both crying and weeping. We barely said a word all the way there. When we arrived at the tomb, we could not believe what we saw. An angel was at the tomb and told us Jesus has risen. We ran back and told them all. Then Peter and John ran to see for themselves. That John sure is fast. He beat me there by a mile. Well, everyone's faster than Peter. We couldn't believe that he was alive. I didn't expect it. To be fair, he told us like a hundred times to expect this. Oh yeah. We were back at the house that evening and Jesus showed up. We all worshiped God and spent a few more days with Jesus. Then he ascended into heaven. We were lost apart from God, but God came to us. Jesus died to pay our price. He defeated death and rose again. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. Whoa, I mean, okay. I mean, hold, okay, hold on, I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta move the goodies. So Easter isn't about the Easter Bunny or this awesome good candy. It's about Jesus and, and the ultimate sacrifice that he made for us from dying on the cross to rising up and, and, and like cleaning us of our sins. That's right, Grind, you got it, yeah. Dude, that's cooler than catching waves in Minnesota, man. I know, Jesus is amazing. God is so good. He oh. sent his own son to die for us so that we could be with him forever. That's so cool, man. All right. <laughs> I, you know, I can't believe that I never knew what Easter was really about. I, I, I mean, thank you for telling me that, you know? That's, that's going to change yeah. Easter from now on. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad to share with you, Grind, and with the kids that are at yeah. home. Yeah. That's so cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for teaching not only me, but the kids also what Easter is really about. Um, but I do have a question. What? Is it, is, is it okay that I still eat my candy? Oh my gosh. Eat all the candy your mom and dad will let you eat. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Annie. That was a great lesson our friends taught us. And even though the Easter Bunny, the eggs, and even the chocolate candy are all cool and fun, the real reason we celebrate Easter is to remember the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that He made on the cross for our sins. Now, if you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you would like to, I would love to do that with you right now, right here, just where you are. So if you would, believe with me and say this with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you into my life. Forgive me of all the things that I've done wrong. 
I believe you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross for my sins. Help me to love and live for you every day. Because of you, Jesus, today I am a Christian. Amen. That was awesome, you guys. Now, if that was your first time saying that prayer, your first time accepting Jesus into your life, let me know about it. Get your parents' permission and go on Facebook Messenger Kids and let me know. I would love to encourage you, pray for you, and just be there. Until then, we miss you guys and we can't, see you, can't wait to see you again. Bye.